Right. <laughs> this is a vlog on... Well, let's just say, yeah. Uh, the UK is trying to take a few quid off, off, off of the tech giants. It won't work, and here's why. The UK is a few little islands in the North Sea, right? Uh, it, it, the likes of Facebook and Amazon are global, global, e.g. across the globe, leaders. They have access to a significant amount of all world advertising dollars. They don't charge anything for their services and anyone can use their services for free. That's why the UK is having problems with them. The UK decides to not use advertising dollars, either through choice or refuses to blatantly use them, which is making the public skint. Uh, that isn't Facebook's problem. The, f the fact that the UK can't use or refuses to use advertising dollars funding method isn't Facebook or Google's uh, or Amazon's problem. They could care less. Um, and also, the UK cannot use the advertising dollars funding method because it ba it's based on. Um, but it, it just can't. It can't. I know why it can't use it, but it can't. So it can never ever use. The UK can never be funded by advertising dollars. But that's just the mindset thing. You can't. The UK can never use that system. So it has to take off individuals. The the tech. <laughs> The, the problem is is that Google and Facebook are, are providing public sector services, which again will cause problems. The total staff of Google and Facebook is about 150,000 total for global. Yeah? UK has about 5 million staff to actually provide um, services to just the, just the UK alone. Straight away, there's a problem there, isn't there? You can reduce the public sector civil service by about 90% straight away, which is going to happen because um, the public sector civil service can't increase the budget, but they're trying to increase the services, which means that all the budgets, all the different, uh, all the different departments have to have reduced budgets, and that's why they're bleaching austerity. Austerity. Try talking to someone that's actually been on CSA for a bit. Yeah, they know a bit about. Um, state-enforced austerity, yeah. and, uh, or universal credit for a while, yeah. <laughs> they know a bit about or, uh, enforced austerity. So the State Departments have got no, nowhere, no, they can't get extra budget, which will pose a problem. But you can't, if Facebook and Google, and they could, if they go down this route, and could Amazon, and, and, and Amazon, not so much Amazon, but if Facebook and Google decide not to provide services, their services, to the UK, then we'll see just who has the power. The, the UK does not have the, the infrastructure to deal with a no Facebook UK. The public wouldn't be able to cope. The public would not even be able to cope and go to work, wouldn't be able to function properly. The medical centres would be absolutely crammed full of people just actually struggling to deal with life because uh, there's no Facebook, no WhatsApp, there's no Insta. How do we cope? How do we cope? If Facebook switched its services off from the UK, the UK would be absolutely in a proper pickle it couldn't get himself out of. So when the UK wants to go telling uh, Facebook what it can and cannot do, the consequences of Facebook telling the UK what it can and cannot do would be significant, um, the, likes of not what, the likes of which we've never ever seen it, ever. Facebook and Google are digital kings, failure to recognise that is, is <laughs> as, are, as is Amazon, I say kings because they're all blokes women, uh, I said queens. Ironically, queen.co.uk is for sale at auction this month, as is prince.co.uk. They have an obvious buyer. The dot-com buyer, I would think, would be interested in the dot .co.uk. 
purely an assumption. Uh, and if that was the case, it's only going one place. If it, if that's the case, um, because yeah, yeah, well, that's a different subject. Um, so um, 